Tell us about your current research focus and its relevance to the field of immunology. My name is Bettina Nado, and I'm an assistant professor at NYU Langone in New York. Uh, and I'm currently working on single cell technology, supplying it to all kinds of immune-related questions, mainly acute myeloleukemia. So my last project was on adult and pediatric acute myeloleukemia patients, uh, trying to find uh, differences and commonalities and how the leukemia affects the immune, mi immune microenvironment. And now we're actually looking also at precursor diseases of acute myeloid leukemia, such as myelodysplastic neoplasm um, or cytopenias that uh, derive from clonal hematophoresis um, and uh, look at uh, differences between um, the precursor lesions and the actual leukemia uh, in men's cells. What are the latest advancements or breakthroughs in immunology that have caught your attention? Signal cell RNA sequencing, there's really been an explosion of studies looking at uh, immunology in different diseases and uh, cancers. Um, for me, what was most important was that now we actually have are a window into the immune microenvironment in the bone marrow when leukemia is there. So there have been a lot of studies from groups about uh, the immune microenvironment in, in different leukemias over the past years, um, including one of the studies that we published in our lab uh, that really shed a new light on how we can target leukemias in, in patients and give new therapeutic targets for these diseases that are so very deadly. What are some key challenges or unanswered questions in the field of immunology that you find particularly My personal view is that now in the bone marrow at least with single cell technologies we we have looked at all the immune populations but what we're really missing is a uh, window into the stromal cells. So we're really missing at this point information about the stromal compartment and how it interacts with the leukemia, uh, which is which is really important because it's really supporting the leukemia in the bone marrow. Importance of understanding the cross talk between the immune system and other body systems. That's an interesting question because I actually started out as a neuroscientist when I did my PhD. Uh, so I was really interested in the cholinergic signaling pathway, which is the pathway that's actually regulating the immune system. So uh, we were looking back, back then, we were looking at stroke patients and we noticed that the immune system was actually suppe suppressed after stroke. And that was really like regulated by the cholinergic system, which is very interesting. With the latest research findings and breakthroughs in the field of immunology. Um, reading papers mostly, going to conferences, that's really the best you can do, right? So, uh, reading bioarchive papers, there's so much that is like published already before peer review, so you can really get like the latest news from there. And then go to both sessions at conferences because that's really where the research is happening. Advice would you give to aspiring researchers or students interested in pursuing a career in you? One advice that I have in general, not only for women, but ever, immunology is being moving towards large data sets really try to learn how to code. That is like really the best advice I can give you to advance your career. There's so much published data that is under your thought. You can really elevate your research and not even produce your own data, but look at publicly available data sets and just answer your questions. So I think that is really important to do and don't shy away from running it, even though it's scary in the beginning. It, it's pretty straightforward once you start getting into it. Uh, maybe as an advice for women and in general, just follow what you like to do. Just follow your passion and as long as you're happy, you can you will make your job.